Nile Perch, Wikipedia article audio. The Nile Perch is a species of freshwater fish in family Latidae of order Perciformes. It is widespread throughout much of the Afrotropic ecozone, being native to the Congo, Nile, Senegal, Niger, and Lake Chad, Volta, Lake Turkana, and other river basins. It also occurs in the brackish waters of Lake Marriott in Egypt. The Nile perch is a fish of substantial economic and food security importance in East Africa. Originally described as Labrus niloticus, among the marine races, the species has also been referred to as Centropomus niloticus. Common names include African snook, Victoria perch, and a large number of local names in various African languages, such as the Luo name Mbuta or Mbuta. In Tanzania, it is called Sangara, Sankara, or Chinku. In Francophone African countries, it is known as Capitaine and in Egypt slash Sudan as Mkal. Its name in the Hausa language is Juanruwa, meaning water elephant. Lake Victoria Introduction Fishery Notes Late's Niloticus is silver in color with a blue tinge. It has distinctive dark black eyes, with a bright yellow outer ring. One of the largest freshwater fish, it reaches a maximum length of nearly 2 meters, weighing up to 200 kilograms. Mature fish average 1.211.37 meters, although many fish are caught before they can grow this large. Adult Nile perch occupy all habitats of a lake with sufficient oxygen concentrations, while juveniles are restricted to shallow or nearshore environments. A fierce predator that dominates its surroundings, the Nile perch feeds on fish, crustaceans, and insects, the juveniles also feed on zooplankton. Nile perch use schooling as a mechanism to protect themselves from other predators. Nile perch have been introduced to many other lakes in Africa, including Lake Victoria and the artificial Lake Nasser. The IUCNS Invasive Species Specialist Group considers L. niloticus one of the world's 100 worst invasive species. The state of Queensland in Australia levies heavy fines on anyone found in possession of a living Nile perch, since it competes directly with the native barramundi, which is similar and grows to 1.8 meters long while the Nile perch grows to 2 meters long. The species is of great commercial importance as a food fish. The Nile perch is also popular with sport anglers, as it attacks artificial fishing lures and is also raised in aquaculture. The introduction of this species to Lake Victoria is one of the most cited examples of the negative effects alien species can have on ecosystems. The Nile perch was introduced to Lake Victoria in East Africa in the 1950s, and has since been fished commercially. It is attributed with causing the extinction or near extinction of several hundred native species with some populations fluctuating with commercial fishing and the actual Nile perch stocks. The Nile perch initially fed on native cichlids, but with decreasing availability of this prey, it now consumes mainly small shrimp and minnows. The fish's introduction to Lake Victoria was ecologically disruptive. In 2003, Nile perch sales to the EU reached 169 million euros. Sport fishing in the region of Uganda and Tanzania provided additional income from tourism. The long-term outlook is unclear, as overfishing is reducing L. niloticus populations. The alteration of the native ecosystem had disruptive socio-economic effects on local communities bordering the lake. 
Many local people have been displaced from their traditional occupations in the fishing trade and brought them into the cash economy or before the establishment of export-oriented fisheries turned them into economic refugees. At least initially, nets strong enough to hold adult Nile perch could not be manufactured locally and had to be imported for a high price. The introduction of Nile perch has also had additional ecological effects on shore. Native cichlids were traditionally sun-dried, but because Nile perch have a high fat content, they need to be smoked to avoid spoiling. This has led to an increased demand for firewood in a region already hard hit by deforestation, soil erosion, and desertification. The Academy Award nominated documentary Darwin's Nightmare by Hubert Sopper deals with the damage that has been caused by Nile perch introduction, including the import of weapons and ammunition in cargo planes from Europe, which are then used to export Nile perch, further exacerbating conflict and misery in the surrounding regions. Regardless of whether it is considered positive or negative, the trophic web of Lake Victoria appears to have been drastically impoverished by the introduction of this novel near-top-level predator. While the lake ecosystem seems to be moving towards a new equilibrium, neither its former state nor the state of fisheries on Lake Victoria can ever easily be brought back. On Lake Victoria, the only trawlers present belong to research institutes. Small-scale fishing boats are propelled mostly by sails, and paddles are used on the smallest boats. However, the number of boats propelled by outboard engines is on the rise, denoting a greater capital intensity of the local Nile perch fishery. One to three fishermen use a boat. The fish is caught mainly with gill nets and hand lines and sometimes long lines. Those caught by gill nets are usually dead when the nets are lifted. The fish are kept in the boat without protection or ice and taken to landing sites, mostly beaches, where they are weighed and purchased by company buyers using insulated boats or vans with ice, or the fish is bought by local women. The fishery also generates indirect employment for additional multitudes of fish processors, transporters, factory employees, and others. All along the lakeshore, boom towns have developed in response to the demands of fishing crews with money to spend from a day's fishing. These towns resemble shanties, and have little in the way of services. Of the 1,433 landing sites identified in the 2004 frame survey, just 20% had communal lavatory facilities, 4% were served by electricity, and 6% were served by a potable water supply. <laughs>